challenges they should be having south mr speaker can the person playing the video restart and uh, put it at max So the transcript of what is happening in the video is on pages 52 and uh, 53 of uh, volume 2. In that video, have we seen the governor addressing the crowd there? Yes, I've seen her. Was the crowd initially peaceful as the governor addressed it? Yes, it was. Did the crowd at some point turn violent? Yes, they turned violent. Would you attribute the violence we have seen with the utterances that the governor made? It can be attributed to the utterances of the governor. Why? Because she castigated the deputy governor and the people there. It's around the deputy governor's home, therefore the crown turned violent after the deputy governor was attacked by the governor. Mr. Mawira, politicians attack each other all the time. Perhaps we can't read much into that. But do you consider it normal, even within the rules of politics, for a governor to take a vilification rally, 
right to the home, adjacent to the home of our deputy? It's not normal, and uh, to hand, uh, this was uh, after the deputy governor and come out and um, saying that uh, he was mistreated, and therefore the governor had taken the rally near his home so that he can castigate him more. Therefore, the crowd, that's why they turned violent and uh, protested against the mistreatment of the deputy governor, uh, because um, it was the last uh, stroke that broke the camel's neck, if I can say. Is the violence we have seen in that video consistent with your charge that county motor vehicles were damaged, as we have seen from the police officer? Yes, but because we can see vehicles being stoned and the police officer saw an affidavit that county government uh, vehicles were destroyed during that rally, meaning they were present in the rally. Let's go to count two of your impeachment motion specifically paragraph 12a, where you accuse the governor of misrepresenting 